Hi, welcome to the second video on Java. Let's continue from where we left off in the previous video. The successful test actually shows uh, us that um, we have everything covered in terms of the project, in terms of uh, setting up the JUnit. Everything is fine. Let's now go ahead and write our code. Um, so what we want to actually check is this. Uh, assert is a method uh, in uh, JUnit which helps me to check if two values are the same. So what we want to check is that the asset equals is a method in JUnit which helps us to check whether the input and the output are sorry the output the from the method and the expected output are the same so let's now go ahead and actually do write something any method call in uh, Java would start and close with a open bracket so open bracket close bracket in which we can pass in arguments right now we don't have any parameters or arguments for this method so it's in between the uh, open bracket and close bracket we are going to enter our values so we want to check whether 5 star 5 is 25 let's say I'm not actually right now implementing anything uh, the other thing is you would notice that Eclipse points out an error here so it says uh, assert equals is undefined for the type calculator test so basically the assert equals is a method not in calculator test we want to import a class so I'm going to go ahead and say add static import this is one more important thing the import statement actually like a Java class depends on a lot of other classes to take to get its functionality so whichever classes which we need we would use an import statement to import them so there's a class called test which we have actually used by means of this annotation at test so what we have actually is an import saying or dot junit dot test is where you're going to find this test so that's basically an import statement an import and also the path to the class the package dot the class name so something similar is a static import a static import we'll discuss it later exactly what static means for enough you can think of it as importing everything which is present in the assert class is being imported in this function that allows us to use this assert equals function even though the assert equals function is not actually defined in this particular class calculated test so let's go ahead and do assert equals so what I've done is just written a small thing and let's go ahead and run this JUnit and see if it succeeds right click run as JUnit test and I would go into save obviously Java is good at mathematics so basically what it does is I'm saying 5 into 5 and check whether it's 25 so now this is not exactly what we want to do what we want to actually do is write a method to calculate this so I want to create a method called square so the square method I would want to pass the input as 5 so this is basically what I want to happen as I want to create a method called square uh, the square uh, should take the input as the number and I would want the output of that to be a num to be the value which is square so if I pass in 5 I'm expecting the output to be 25 so now uh, if you look at this right now ja uh, Eclipse highlights an error it says the method square is undefined in calculated test but what I want to actually create is a calculator class with the method square so let's first actually now uh, go ahead and create a class called calculator 
So what I want to create is a calculator class. What you are seeing now is how I can create a instance of a calculator class. So I'll just write some piece of code. Calculator, calculator is equal to new calculator. Okay, what you see on the screen is how you can create a ins new instance of this particular class. As we discussed earlier, class represents a concept. So for us, we want to implement a calculator. So we want the calculator class. So what we are doing here is actually creating a calculator variable or a calculator object. Uh, this new calculator creates when I say new calculator, it creates an instance of the calculator and stores it into this variable. So what we are doing here is creating a new instance of the calculator and what we want to do is when we do calculator.square5, we want 25 to, the, to be the output. So what is this? Um, I might sound a little crazy because we have not yet created the calculator class and that's why Eclipse is actually showing an error saying calculator cannot be resolved uh, to a type. So what we can do now is uh, do Eclipse to do the hard work. So how do I make Eclipse do the hard work is just press control one, sorry, just press, uh, if you're using Windows, press control one, if you are using uh, Highlight on the calculator and on Mac, press Command 1. If you press Command 1, now actually uh, Eclipse gives you a pop-up showing the different options which you can do to fix this error. So what I would want to do is create the class calculator. So I would choose the first option. This whatever we are doing right now is called a quick fix a control one or a command one is called a quick fix whenever there is an error if you go on top of that error and press command one or control one you eclipse shows you the different options which are available to fix that error and i'm going to create a class called calculator now let's create a class called calculator eclipse brings up the usual class window so in here i want to create this in source folder so I would want to choose source as the folder and uh, Eclipse automatically point uh, populated the package as com.retools.match.calculator I leave it as it is and uh, the rest of the stuff I would want to leave it as it is and click finish so there you go Eclipse has created now the uh, class called calculator if you go ahead and look at the package explorer on your left hand window now you'd see a little bit more stuff in your window so what you see on the left hand side is the source folder now contains something called calculator.java and the test folder contains calculator test.java so what you have now is actually a source folder you have created a source file called calculator and a test file called calculator test so the calculator test basically tests whether the calculator is working fine. Let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So now I'm going to the calculator test. If you look at it now, the compilation error on the calculator object has disappeared. So there is no compilation error on the calculator object itself. Um, now um, what I'm going to do right now is call a maximize of the editor window. since. Uh, I'm going to write some piece of code. I want to use the editor window fully. So what I can do is actually go here and do a sorry. You can go here, go to the calculator test and double click on it, and it maximizes the entire window. The keyboard shortcut for that is Control M. So if you press Control M, it maximizes or minimizes based on your current state. So it's basically like a toggle. Calculator, calculator is equal to new calculator. Now asset equals. So if you look at it right now, the calculator test has one more compilation error, which is called, it's because we have a calculator class, 
but we have not defined anything in there yet. So the square method is not yet present in that class. So let's go ahead and create the square method now. So as usual, uh, I'll let Eclipse do the hard work for me. I would want Eclipse to do uh, like most of the stuff. So I'm going to press command one or control one again. And now Eclipse use, gives you how to fix it. So Eclipse says, go ahead and create a method called square in, in the type calculator. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you look at it right now, uh, it's um, for the first time we are seeing something um, uh, called a method definition. For now, I'll leave it as public. Uh, I would want here to use an uh, integer. Let's discuss what is an integer in a minute. And since we are reading an integer, I would actually point this to zero and say save. So. For now, what you would see is that there is no compilation error anywhere. So I can go ahead and run this test and see what happens. Okay, so what it says is there is a test failure. So that's basically what is shown in the screen here right now. Uh, expected zero, but was 25. That's very good. So we have a first genuine failure and let's see how to fix it in the next video. We are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.